What's up dudes and dudettes, it's your man Evan B here broadcasting live from the butt cave uh, bringing you another uh, episode in my nerf thrifting videos um, I had a great nerf thrifting week and so uh, with in the interest of not uh, running over uh, this time and having to split this up into two recording sessions I'm gonna go ahead and just crack right into uh, my finds um, let's see right off the top of the pile I found another Praxis Everybody loves the Praxis, and I am really coming around to uh, nerf uh, Vortex Blasters. I did the same thing I did the last time I found a thrifted Praxis. I went immediately to Toys R Us and bought a, another uh, Firefly clip for it. Um, this one didn't have one in it, I found, but I did find uh, the um, stock and the blaster. Again, no scope. So I've got three Praxi now. Uh, Praxi? Praxises? Pieces? Gooses. Anyway, um, I've, I've got three of them now. Um, no scopes, but um, each one is armed with a uh, Firefly um, clip. I should, or magazine, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to argue. Um, I probably should just go ahead right now at my local Toys R Us. These are on sale for seven bucks. I think I counted them. They had like 13 of them left. I should go back and get like at least four or five of them. Um, because I, as I find these blasters, I buy, I buy, go and immediately buy clips for them. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'm getting to the point where uh, vortex-wise, uh, clip-fed blasters, I have hit a limit. But then again, probably not, because sometimes that's all I find. Uh, I found this Air Zone crossbow, um, which is cool. I do not really have a whole lot of Air Zone stuff. Um, but I did, I did buy a butt ton of these uh, Air Zone uh, arrows, so it's kind of nice that I actually have a crossbow for them. I, uh, I actually almost bought one of these new the other night. Um, they retail uh, at Toys R Us for $7.98, and uh, they had a deal at Toys R Us the other day where uh, Air Zone stuff was like 25% off, and I almost went ahead and bought one because I, I like um, I like bows. Uh, and this thing just, I thought it looked cool. It's got kind of like the uh, old school medieval crossbow feel to it. Um, <clears throat> and I, I like the priming mech a lot. But I, uh, I didn't buy one after all. And uh, that same, uh, or the next day, I found one at the Goodwill. <clears throat> I paid uh, 79 cents for this. I found a Nerf Crossfire Bow, uh, the Zombie Strike one. Uh, I'm a fan of this blaster. Uh, I really like it with the Praxis stock on it. A buddy of mine that I work with, he's been trying to get a hold of the Praxis stock because he really likes this crossfire. And so I took his advice and I put this on here. And man, isn't that sweet? Um, that looks really cool. It feels really cool. I think uh, the crossfire bow, I, I'm not a, the hugest fan of because I, I feel like it's kind of gimmicky. Um, and the... Um, there's a Sonic Ice or Sonic Fire version of this that's out right now that doesn't have the cross crossbow part. It's the same exact blaster. They call it something different and it doesn't have the crossbow. And it's like, excuse me, 20 bucks or something. And um, that just seems dumb. So maybe that affects my, um, my opinion of this one too. But uh, I don't know. Uh, I already had one of these, so now I have two. Uh, and I paid 69 cents for that one. Uh, 49 cent tech three um, another Tommy 20 I think this makes like six Tommy 20s for me now um, this one didn't have batteries in it uh, I I don't know if it works or not I suspect it does I think I've mentioned in the past these are built really well um, not the greatest blasters but uh, they um, they function well as far as being reliable so. um, I found a Vulcan chain. I've got 104 of these. Uh, a, my brother brought this one to me. My, um, and I've got a couple, everything's all mixed together, so I will uh, mention him a couple times tonight because he brought me a series of blasters. He lives up in Columbus, Ohio, and uh, he's been doing some kind of side nerf thrifting for me. Um, does not find the kind of finds that I do, but he's found some cool stuff. So um, this is one of the blasters my brother brought me. It does not work. Uh, it was two bucks. Um, but, you know, again, I think this is number three of these for me. And uh, this is a blast from my past. These are the neighborhood kids. We all had these when I was a kid. This and the old school bow and arrow, which is like 
I think probably at the top of my list of stuff I want to find right now is one of the old like pink and blue boat and arrows um because i haven't found one i don't have one and that was the very first nerf blaster i ever had as a kid so these always kind of remind me of that era these were the kind of blasters we were using when we were nine and ten years old oh man let's see here's a tech six here's another tech six um not a lot has to be said about the tech six here is another tech six um, I think there's one more. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe we'll dig it out. Uh, a couple of these dark tag targets. Um, I collect the targets, man. Um, these, I don't know if they, they, they must have had some kind of base on them at some point. But um, I'm getting ready to move and move into a new house. And part of one of the things I'm going to do in my new house is have an area that, that I can uh, use as a range um, that's not you know, like my basement uh, banister like I use now. Um, the butt range will be literally just a bunch of Nerf targets uh, all set up in a space specifically for designed for uh, shooting Nerf darts at. Um, and so every target I come across, I'm gonna grab. Um, so these were two more to those or to that collection. I also found this little zombie strike uh, uh, Nerf target. This uh, I think comes with like a jolt pack. Um, that the little uh, zombie strike jolt, which is a really cool colors. I don't have one of those, but uh, and the, I think this is the one that comes with that set. And I paid twenty nine cents for that one. I, in fact, I think I paid twenty nine cents. Oh no! Wow, I paid a dollar ninety nine for that. Wow, two dollars. That's, that's Evan B coming off with some serious loot. Um, one, two. Long shot front guns. Uh, one is in the uh, kind of regular -y blue. One is in the more neebie -y blue. I've got a ton of long shots um, in various states of repair. And uh, so these will be put to good use. In fact, I think the one, the best long shot I have, I have a front gun for it, but the, uh, the handle is missing. Um, so I ended up rigging up a, uh, out of like some scrap plastic, like a temporary or uh, like a, a I don't know, a, a trigger that worked, um, but it is not neat or comfortable to use by any means. So there's uh, those. Um, let's see, what else do I got? I got a bunch of marshmallow shooters this week. Um, I'm gonna start collecting those. I, I like the idea of turning these into Nerf blasters. Um, so there's this guy here. Um, it's got a nice big plunger tube in it. Um, I'm uh, gonna enjoy modding this into something. Um, maybe even an integration. I got two of these ones. Um, I, uh, I, I pass on these most of the time, but uh, these ones were in good shape and I found them the same day where, and I also did not find much else that day. So uh, I went ahead and picked these up. Uh, they were incredibly cheap. So uh, two of those. Let's see, what else we got? I got a fuse fire. I did not have a fuse fire uh, before. I am super stoked about this one. I do not think I've ever fired a fuse fire, so we're gonna do that. Um, did you get a disc out of my paroxys? And listen to some terrible 90s music in the background. Man, this seems like a really hilarious loading Mac. Nice. All right, sweet. Fuse fire is way easier to use than Rob made it seem in his uh, Nerf thrifting video that he did recently. Uh, 69 cents for that fuse fire. Uh, okay, this is an interesting thing. Um, if you could tell me what this is, I don't know. Um, it seems like it is part of some kind of case that turns into a blaster. Um, these were the only parts that were there. Um, but it has like this top prime. Um, it also has a clip in it. And it fits Nerf darts. Um, there's really no like markings on it that, um, at least on this part of it, that denote what company it might be from um, or where, like what line of toys it might be. I could not find anything on the internet about it, but then again, to be honest, I did not look that hard. Um, but clearly I'm missing like a big chunk of this that this would make like 
a suitcasey kind of thing. So I don't know if there's another blaster that fits in there or if there's just a big chunk of plastic that this is supposed to sit into to make like a carry case. But um, I'd like to have a complete one because this is pretty sweet. And the fact that it has this uh, this interesting little clip, I think, is really neat. So um, I don't know if you know what this thing is or how I can find another one or uh, find uh, the parts to complete this one. Please let me know in the comments below. All right, along that same lines, this is some kind of ball blaster. Um, it says Total X Stream on it, um, but that's all that's on it, and I don't know much about it. Um, it just it seemed like it had a really nice plunger on it, and I feel like with a coupler and some PVC, um, I could make that into something. If anything, do something to launch like arrows or missiles or something. It's just got that feel to it. Or maybe it's uh, better brass knuckles to, you know, it's a melee weapon now. Watch out, HVZ. Or uh, NVZ, I'm, uh, I'm coming for you uh, plastic punchy style. All right. 18 stick mag. Oh, I found a bin. I had a bunch of these in it today, a bunch of six mags. Um, my magazine collection has gotten absolutely absurd. Um, here's a drum for a Sidewinder. I don't have a Sidewinder. I knew what this was. I don't, I couldn't tell you why I know what this is, but uh, it's a drum for a Sidewinder. I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to, um, cut it down a little bit on all sides. And this is going to be like, uh, my table mount for making Steffens. Um, I'll have something to set in and work through the top of it. So that's kind of cool. <sighs> Night Finder, another Night Finder, a third Night Finder, a fourth Night Finder, a fifth Night Finder. Is that all the Night Finders? Nope. Night Finder number six. <laughs> the week of the Night Finder. Oh, I felt like there was one more. Maybe not. Oh well, uh, six is plenty. Ah, uh, here's another reactor, and another reactor. So my reactor collection is now uh, uh, somewhere in the teens. Um, I have one that Fowler made me that has been isolated to shoot regular darts, and I have these ones that I think I'm collecting now because I really like the, uh, the piece that Rob did, the piece of cover he did out of reactors for Thunderdome, and so when, as I uh, move into my new house and build a, a mini Thunderdome in my backyard, I might do a reactor piece of cover. I just thought that was a brilliant idea. <clears throat> I found two of these Air Max 6 Extremes. These are uh, pump uh, blasters. Um, you give them air pressure and they fired, they were functional, um, and so I got two of those. No thrifting trip would be complete without a yellow Maverick, and there's one. Uh, these are kind of cool. I found these random like plastic stocks. Um, I found two of the same ones. I assume that they go to some kind of airsoft pistol, or excuse me, airsoft rifle, um, because of the connectors on the back. I'm not positive about that, but I just felt like uh, there is some kind of application uh, for nerfing that these could be used for. I'm, uh, I'm going to mail one of these to Fowler so he can, because uh, I want to see what he comes up with it. Um, I'm sure he's going to come up with something cooler than mine, but um, ooh, maybe. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tactical reactor. Uh, another night fighter. Uh, let's see. Another Tech Six. <laughs> the week of the Tech Sixes and the Night Fighters. Um, some random recon parts. Um, I never complain about finding recon parts because I think I've mentioned before, recon's one of my faves, especially when the lights function. Here is another reflex. My reflex collection is mighty hilarious. Um, and I have far more functional ones than unfunctional ones. The reflex is just such a reliable, fun little punchy blaster. Alrighty. Here is, and I cannot for the life of me remember what this is, but here's a vintage blaster. It's a Cyber Strike pistol. Um, 
This fires the old uh, Mega Dart. Um, I don't know if this is in functional condition, but it seems like it is. Um, it does not have a dart post in it, so um, I, being that I don't know much about the blaster, I don't know if this originally came with one or that's a modification someone did. But uh, yeah, sweet vintage blaster. On that vintage tip, I found, and my brother found this actually, uh, in a thrift store in Columbus, is the Nerf Sneak Shot. Um, the, the way that this blaster works is it bends here. Um, I guess I probably should do it this way. Uh, there's a little dial here, so you can fire around a corner while still being undercover. Um, the prime on this one is missing, so someone has tied a shoelace around it, and that was their fix for the missing prime. Ooh, that sounds so brutal. I should not dry fire this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to pillage um, a long shot uh, that I have that's in pretty rough condition and I uh, use the priming uh, bar that goes through it to uh, put one on here. Um, not necessarily because I want to be able to use this blaster, but just because I think it aesthetically will look better than hanging a uh, string. Although I really do like, um, I'm assuming this was a Boy Scout because that's some pretty sweet ingenuity. But uh, yeah, there's a sneak shot. Um, you guys have told me before, and I always forget what this dart tag pistol is called, but I found another one. I'm a fan. <laughs> oh no, does it really shoot like that? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's so dumb. Watch out! <laughs> anyway, uh... Here's two 49 cent ones of these dumb Busby blasters. Uh, I can't remember what they're called, but um, I know they've got uh, pretty solid springs in them. Oh, uh, those will go somewhere else. Nice spin doctors is playing in the background. Oh. Another one of these dumb things. Um, I bought this one just because the prime worked on it, um, and. It did not have any of the shells, but I have literally a crap ton of these shells because I find them kind of loosey-goosey floating around at the uh, um, outlet all the time. So I went ahead and got another one of these. Speaking of shotguns, you guys are really going to like this one. Uh, if you watched one of my videos from uh, last week, Fowlis sent me a uh, care package. And in that care package was a modified version of this blaster right here. That I then, um, and being that Fowler is my little uh, nerfing uh, good luck charm uh, angel, I found a ETRL PR, PAS. Um, I paid 99 cents for this one. Um, it is in working order. Um, I am ex super excited to have this one so that I have the opportunity to uh, modify one myself. Um, and then I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I'm thinking maybe it'll have something to do with um, a giveaway somewhere in the future. Or um, either way, I think both my... Uh, uh, actually, if you right here, the one that Fowl sent me has not left my side in like a week. This uh, blaster is the bee's knees. Um, the one that he did for me, um, it is so good and works so well. And so to have a pair of them... Uh, yeah, I'm a happy camper. That is uh, the Nerf thrifting find of the month for me for sure. Um, and probably not since I found my uh, 99 or my 29 cent 1995 Kenner crossbow a couple months ago. Now I found a blaster that I feel like is as rare as as much potential for it. Um, this one being functional and in good condition um, for a buck. The bee's knees, man. You uh, you can't beat that. So there are my blasters, my uh, PASs. All right, another Vulcan chain. <clears throat> oh man, I, oh, the switch shot. I found a blue one of these. Um, I have a yellow one, and uh, these are the, the, the blaster that um, you can take the, uh, the um, mech out or whatever, the bla actual blaster part of this out and uh, replace it with a Wii controller, a Wiimote, um, to play the um, Nerf uh, Wii game on. 
Um, so that's pretty sweet. I have a yellow one and now I have a blue one. Um, and there you go. And it's, uh, let's see, is it functional? I don't know if I've fired a dart through it yet. Yep, kind of. <laughs> Strong arm. Everybody loves them. I found a cougar, an extra cougar clip. Oh, here is a uh, zombie strike uh, vortex ricochet. Hi, I wonder if this has to have a disc in it to prime because it's sticky. Oh, I think it does. I think I remember um, I bought a couple of these around Christmas time. Um, super cheap at Ollie's, and you have to prime them. Tech threes. Tech threes, tech threes, everybody tech threes. Um, this is the double strike. Found another one of these. I like this pistol. Um, I know it's tiny, but uh, I like one-handed operation. I feel like this is a sweet, uh, it's the right size for like a holdout blaster. Um, oh, that dart's mangled. Maybe some of these. That's, yeah, that's a bad dart. Um, but yeah, sweet holdout blaster, you know, a shoulder holster inside of a something. Speaking of that, this is the, uh, <laughs> I, I know I looked this up last time, last week on my thrifting video. I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called now off the top of my head. But uh, I'm just going to call it the dart tag reflex, even though I know that's not what it is. It's like the exterminator or the uh, expiration date or something. Along the dart tag line. One, I only found one this week, but one dart tag vest. That brings my dart tag vest collection to like 30. And uh, somebody still, please come over and play dart tag with me. Oh, I found four more of the scoops. McDonald's toys, Nerf style. Oh, I found this Avengers style. Um, it, it looks like a Maverick. I don't know if this is an actual Nerf blaster. Um, in fact, I don't even know if it fires Nerf darts. Let's, uh, let's give it a whirl. Ew, it doesn't seem like it, because that seems like that's way too long. Um, so, this must fire some kind of shorter ammunition. But, uh, it looks like a Maverick. Um, I guess that's going to be chopped down and used for, uh, yeah, that didn't even, um, Probably chopped down and, uh, or at least having the dart pegs pulled out so I could fire Steffens from it or something. Um, but yeah, Avengers Maverick looking pistol. Um, I found uh, another sneak shot uh, AS1. This one's key ring is busted, so that's a bummer, but it works itself. I gotta drag some stuff over here. We're getting towards the end, guys. I found a yellow big bad bow. Those of you who watch my channel who know me best know this is my favorite blaster, the big bad bow. I did not have a yellow one, and now I do. All this stuff will be chopped off. Um, I, um, uh, when Rob uh, put out the, uh, the big bad bow modif modification video, it was like a revelation to me as to what uh, could be done with these guys. And uh, it is my favorite, my absolute favorite blaster. I say it all the time, like, dude, this is one of my favorites, this is one of my favorites. Big Bad Bow, the, as far as modern blasters go, this is my fave. I have a lot of fun modifying these. Um, it's, it's relatively easy. If you, if you remember from my giveaway, I did a, an elite paint job one um, and gave it uh, away to Clark Mason, or Mason Clark. But um, this, is, uh, this is my fave. I found a yellow one. I'm really happy. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. I, I, it's obviously not Nerf uh, because I don't think that the Nerf dart even fits on it. Let's give it a shot and see if that'll fire. I suspect the answer is no, but oh, it did. Um, okay, so yeah, cool little holdout bow. Um, I have no idea where it's from, what it, what it's called. Um, it does not really have any writing on it uh, other than it says that it Jaru made in China. If you know what it is, let me know. 
Um, not one, but two of these Z-Tech bows. Um, these were things that I always passed on until recently. Um, I am a convert. I like the, uh, the Z-Tech bow. Um, these are two different, uh, clearly different ones, but very similar in size. Um, I found a couple of these Vigor arrows for it. I also found this small Z-Tech bow that folds down like mural. And, ha and I also found these uh, smaller arrows. This one that's got like kind of a bumper end and this one that's got kind of some suction ends. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, guys, that's the pile. We made it. We did 25 minutes, not too terrible. Um, if you've uh, stuck with the video this long, I wanna say thank you very much. Um, I appreciate you guys uh, watching my uh, Nerf thrifting videos. Um, I know that uh, I've gotten some, uh, I don't know, criticism lately about how uh, informal I am and how uh, unprofessional I am in my uh, videos or in how the quality and I don't have the flashy screen that comes across the front or uh, anything, da da da. But um, this is my format. This is how I do it. Um, I like to, uh, to, I don't know, play this like it's a, a big long conversation. Um, if you were sitting in uh, the room with me while I was showing off my week's uh, Nerf thrifting finds, this is pretty much how I talk to you. So um, for those of you who have uh, stuck with the channel, we're, uh, we're coming close to 300 subscribers, and that's really, really cool. I'm uh, super excited about that. Um, thank you guys so much for continued watching, continued support. Thanks for hitting me up on my Facebook and on my uh, Gmail. I appreciate the constructive criticism, honestly, as long as nobody's calling me names or anything. Uh, you know, keep the criticism coming. Um, uh, check out the rest of my channel. Um, also, go check out uh, Fala from uh, Blow No Nerf. Um, and check out Rob at the Thunderdome. Um, there's a couple other uh, shout-outs I could make. Uh, the, the YOLO Assassin... Uh, um, go check out uh, Tiger Foam, JT Nerf, um, and, uh, and, and again, again, get well hopefully soon to uh, uh, Christian Tucker, uh, Matt Poe. What's up, dude? I'm looking forward to those big bad bows you're sending me. Um, and I think that's about it. You guys have a great week. Um, I know I will. Uh, stay tuned for the channel. Um, there's going to be uh, some other videos coming up this week. I got some stuff going on uh, in the works that I'm going to share. And uh, yeah, as always, this is Evan B. Uh, broadcasting from the Butt Cave saying peace and hair grease. Be nice to each other. Uh, have fun and nerf on. Night, guys. <laughs>